All righty, let's take a look at the whole thing first. You send me an email with the notes updates. That's all cool. All right, and then we have an additional shot at the end. All right, I think it's for sure better. <clears throat> but there are still some some of the issues. Now there's some detail stuff that I'm assuming going to get to it uh, later. But you can still get the same hand pose, especially this one, uh, the right screen right one that feels really static, like fingers out and the, how the wrist is up instead of uh, looser. And there was something about he still feels like he just kind of goes, where it just feels very, everything feels very pose to pose. Everything moves at the same time. So I think you still want to have that moment of him leaning forward. You want to offset, uh, offset the arms. You want to look at what is leading. Is he leaning forward and then looking up with the head? Or you want to go back a bit and then forward with a little bit of anticipation. So there's still a lot to be done in this one. I think the path is better, but it still needs more. If you look at that energy, how there's something where... You know what I mean? Like it still, he still needs to go at least split that difference, but it needs to go a bit further. And then it still has that weird feel of just arms just kind of hanging. They kind of both go back. The feet are still very flat, like they're not angled out to be a bit more dynamic. Everything just feels kind of, it still feels like a corpse. These are very, very um, twins. The feet are too similar. So you really need to look at a few more dynamic poses for this jump and flip over there. And I highly recommend that latest multiverse Spider-Man trailer for dynamic poses. I think I'm going to do a uh, trailer analysis this week for it. So I think timing wise it's definitely better. I just look at how far it goes and just push the poses. This still feels slightly rushed through there. So as he comes down, at least here it's a bit more, you can still probably uh, break up, this is a horrible drawing, but break up the legs so that they don't, I know there's an offset there, but you could still push it. And as you go forward, see there's, the thing is, that hand is kind of in that same position, and then this, the web just kind of appears, versus imagine, <coughs> excuse me, if that, and if you're a bit more angled, arm here, and that arm could be bent, and you know, however, I don't know, I have no idea, I can't draw. What I have in my head is not going to be <laughs> helpful at all. But the point is that you would have an arm back here, and then you can move that arm forward, and then shoot the web. So there is a move forward so that tells the audience, oh, something's happening, it's the arm that shoots the web. Right now, it's just kind of a pose with kind of a static roll and then suddenly that web appears and the thing is we're so close to the edge here that we kind of lose it so I would try I think the camera drops too fast so what I would try is to keep this size in terms of how big he is I know he's ha he has his legs out but he's so much bigger in frame if there's anything you can do to have his head here you know, again, it could just be slightly smaller, some offset in the legs, but that his arm, at least, you know, I would I would have that fist maybe here, so that we still have this much within your action safe or whatever that you have here. You know, you want to see more of that arm in that in that web. And then as you go down here, this still feels like the whole body is pivoting off of the midsection, and the chest, the head, the legs, they just kind of rotate the same with there's no drag in the legs there's no change where maybe at this point that arm was back here and then moves a lot faster to then hold on to this so it just doesn't feel like it's just this one piece of wood that rotates once you get to here again you can probably bring in the legs a bit higher for a bigger swing and it gives you a bigger silhouette and bigger pose change I guess the end is okay. I would just take that building and move it over here. So we have a clean silhouette of the character, not right here in the middle. Kind of a somewhat tangent, but just kind of weird overlap. Same thing here. This just feels too straight and static for such a long time. If there's anything you can do to... He 
you might still have a slight twist in it, one leg might be out, there's something where you want to push those poses. But just give this a bit more an interesting silhouette to around here-ish. That's okay. I'm still confused. Wait, you're saying... So that edge is here. It's still confusing because these are the same colors. He suddenly disappears. I would just cheat this and take this down so we can see the ground, so we can see him till the end. It's just a weird cutoff. Especially with this cutoff here in the hand right in front of there and this being the same color. You know, maybe if there's different textures and focus, I don't know. But for, uh, I personally would take it out so we can see the whole thing. Because it's so short when it comes out. I think it would help to see the, the last pose so it connects with this cut here. And I will bring that foot down and not roll the feet up, the toes. Because you wouldn't really land like this. You would more land toe first. And then this still feels too stiff. I think you have a bit more downwards move, I think. But you can go harder, go lower. The wrist can kind of snap down a bit. That screen left arm feels better. Same thing here. I won't go heel first. It's this range. But you just need more impact in that. So it feels like a lot of the notes from last time still apply. This still feels a bit fast. This section and then how quickly you lock in if you want to make this photo real. Feels a bit too stiff through there. I think you want to overshoot a bit more in your root and then ease into that overshoot and come back a bit more and have a bit more twist in the body. It feels like it locks a bit too much. And then through this, you can have potential change in the fingers, finger poses. Same thing here. I will probably bring in that thumb or bring it out a bit more to something where it doesn't feel like the index and the thumb are the same. And then here, you know, there's so much movement here. I don't think you're going to be distracted by Spider-Man doing something. So I will watch out. Hey, it's a bit close here, but you can have a little bit of a move here like a sidestep and adjustment arms can go a bit higher the fingers can tense up into fists something where he gets a bit more battle ready or he takes a step back because he didn't expect this to be this big there are a couple of things you can do but right now there's a weird drift in the wrist going up there you can see that when you scrub um definitely add some business it, it, you know even if like small adjustments i don't think are going to take away from this massive thing here <coughs> speaking of which that's a bit, it's going to say a bit fast, so let's see. Yeah, I guess, I would slow this down a little bit more, those fingers, it's a big, big, big object. And it would be cool, it's going to be very staged, but if that finger would be here, and then in uh, the middle finger would be here, and I guess here you can start overlapping. So it's a bit of a nicer silhouette. Just that blob in front of the leg, I would kind of switch that over a bit more. And then as this creature comes up here, Venom, it's just very much in one axis. Just rotates back and the head rotates back without any side to side or tilt in Y or rotation in Y. Change in the head. He could come where the, the head looks maybe, you know, eyes are this way. It looks this way and does this big turn. Just something a bit more complex than just a rotation up that feels too simple. And then that mouth open, you know, probably keep it closed and then open. And I don't know if that's kind of a. He's breathing out, he has bad breath, and he goes Bruh. Is that supposed to be kind of a roar? If so, you gotta make that anticipate back, come forward with the chest. Yeah, if you want this to be a big roar, this is a lot more you can do. You would actually bring up that second arm, maybe trying to get up, and then maybe you change that rotation into this, where the head is like that, shoulders like that, and arm comes up, you know, he's trying to get up there, and it doesn't just kind of lock in this pose. There's a couple of things you can still do. Same thing here, you have still some twinned arms in terms of timing. I know this is more bent, but just kind of move all at the same time, stop at the same time. And again, it just kind of moves like the silhouette. It feels like you go back for anticipation and for the web slinging, but we kind of lose the silhouette. If you squint your eyes, you do your silhouette test. It feels like a stump where you want, it's never really there, you want that little bend. And that arm, you know, you can kind of cheat and see what you can do to see those elbows. And then, shoo, this feels a bit slow. So, if you do this, 
I would probably bring out those arms forward, stretch them out, and then pull them back for him to propel himself forward. But once you reach around here, he feels very slow, and then he starts to kind of fall down, which feels a bit weird. I think you want to keep moving at a certain speed, definitely faster, keep having him go up. You can always tilt up with the camera, and it's weird that he, he doesn't exit... To me, it feels like you want the head here, and it's the chest that hits the camera that then blackens out the whole frame for a cut. It feels weird that he goes in, punches the camera. I know you're saying it probably goes in to punch Venom. It's just a, it's just a weird frame to cut on. And if you're going for a, for a punch, then I would have something a bit more of a tilt, that arm really, really back. Something where it's just a bigger anticipation with a bigger smack into the face, but I'm not quite sure if that's gonna work. So right now, it almost feels like you want that web to be closer to camera if it's hitting Venom's head or something. That's a tiny detail, but still they feel kind of twins. So we will offset on those, on those webs, but it feels like you want to give this enough time. Let's see if yeah, I don't think you have enough time to do pull for a web sling and then a punch. You might just have to go into pulls himself forward to then just fly towards camera. And like I said, the head will be higher and the chest goes into the camera. It's a bigger mass that can black out the frame for a cut. I don't think you're going to have enough time. And you don't want to slow the whole thing down to do a pull and the punch. Unless you start a run, jump up, or you can take just one arm for the web, take like one step forward, jump off, pull with this side, only this side has the, uh, the web, so one, two step, jump up, spider web, pull, so that throughout this whole thing, you're already in that anticipation of that punch. So it reads longer and then phew, punch into camera. But again, that fist, you know, it's going to take up the whole the whole camera to then black out the frame. Yeah, that's kind of it. Let me know what you think. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.